188 Steve Brother to another. <laughs> man, it's a superpower. 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 It's a but the problem is, you've got to tell yourself to slow down. Well, it's knowing how to modulate, and you know, and that's where I've I've had to learn how to regulate in a range of different ways. You know, that was the re I was addicted to speed at age 19. The reason it was so easy for me to get on speed, it's like because speed is Ritalin, right? Mm. And so that I, when I first tried speed for the first time, it was the first time in my life where I actually felt normal. You know, then I had to learn how do I how do I regulate what the condition brings up because ADHD is also linked to anxiety, mm. uh, but it also ADHD is a predisposition for addiction. Uh, and that's something that we, you know, that is important to understand, you know. And when you have a predisposition for addiction, it, that's also an indicator of inability to regulate. Mm. Because the ADHD brain develops based on the environment. And the environment that we grew up in typically is an effect of us not being demonstrated at a parental level or a maternal level how to regulate certain emotions and stresses. And so our brain develops differently and so does a blood flow. And so as a result, our brains operate differently than everyone else's. And we need to learn how to regulate in natural ways, not in pharmaceutical ways. It's just knowing how to use your psychology to, you know, to help you rather than allow your psychology to run you. Because you know, most of the time it runs us. Do you meditate? Um, it's funny you say that. I started to probably about a year ago. I'll try Get into transcendental meditation, it'll change your whole life. Yeah. Transcendental meditation actually helps the brain repair and it actually helps um, the brain regulate so and stabilise. No, I, I understand. Yeah. I know. Really hard. Yeah, yeah. And then crash. Yep. And that's learning how to balance. Correct. And learning to know when you're in that manic state and going, okay, I'm in that level of you know, manic workload right now. I need to step back. I need to relax. I need to slow my language down. I need to slow my thought processes down. But, but, you know, but at the end of the day, it's understanding what addiction is, understanding the neurological aspects of it. It's a condition, okay? It's, you know, some people label it as a disease, but it's a progressive condition. If it's left untreated, it gets worse. It's all about regulation.